the Rwanda High Commission held a commemoration service to mark the 25th anniversary of the genocide against the Tutsi at Marlebone Parish Church in London. On the 9th of 6th of April 1994, a plane carrying the then president, Juvenal Habyarimana, a Hutu, was shot down, killing everyone on board. Hutu extremists blamed the Rwandan Patriotic Front, who were largely Tutsis, and immediately started a well organized campaign of slaughter. Between April and July of 1994, over 800,000 people were killed during the genocide most of whom were minority Tutsis and moderate Hutus, were all killed by Hutu extremists. Prayers were said as victims were remembered. Survivors also shared their stories on things they witnessed as they tried to escape. And after 25 years, you can still feel the pain and trauma that these survivors still go through. I really had to go through a journey of reconciliation, of healing, and of finding some real like happiness in the country. Um, so I don't have any um, relatives that are left in Rwanda. So it's been really about how to make peace of the country when and rebuild, rebuild kind of like memories and like good memories, whilst also um, uh, making peace with the with the bad ones. After the church service, people embraced as they comforted each other. Guests from other countries realized the importance of unity. It actually reminds us of what is really important, especially when it comes to tribal matters. Um, I'm from Kenya. We do have several tribes. Sometimes we have some tension and clashes. And we want the rest of our countries to learn from the Rwanda genocide. For survivors, it's imperative for the new generation to be well informed about the genocide and to make sure it never happens again. For me, I wasn't born by that time, but I just like come here to listen to people, so it's kind of refreshing just to listen to people. Yeah. I got to know more about my people and then like I got to know more about their stories, so it was kind of refreshing. And then I learned more of how they forgive other people, so it's quite good. The genocide has cast a long shadow over Rwanda, and talks of ethnicity remains illegal. 19 years ago, the government of Rwanda established a long-term development strategy with its main objectives to transform Rwanda into a middle-income country by 2020. Since then, the Rwandan economy has been growing steadily, earning a reputation as one of Africa's fastest-growing economies with an amazing tourist destination. Rwanda is probably the most exciting and super country number one in Africa. It's the cleanest. Their airline, everything is working. In fact, everything is working. Look at what visit to Rwanda. Look at what they are doing. You know. So, you know, I'm just happy that they've moved on. Everybody has forgiven each other. Everybody living in peace and harmony. They love each other. So, I'm really happy to be here to commemorate it. Yes, it's good to commemorate such events and learn from it, so it doesn't happen again. Yeah.